हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन एज वी आर डीलिंग विथ बायोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट एंड द टॉपिक इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन रिप्रोडक्शन वी हैव डिस्कस सो मेनी थिंग्स अप टू द फर्टिलाइजेशन लास्ट टाइम वी हैव फिनिश द फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एंजूस फॉर्म इट इज अ डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन सो डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन हैज इट्स ओन सिग्निफिकेंस एंड दैट इज इम्पॉर्टंट सो दैट द एंजूस फॉर्मि प्लांट्स दे आर Uh, somewhat specialized plants where the seed is developed the seed is not developed in all type of the groups of plants but it is the only characteristic of angiosperm as well as in gymnosperm now after the double fertilization when the fertilization takes place zygote is developed and the endosperm formation takes place so this is all about the previous lecture now let us start with the next part next topic that is the embryogenesis embryogenesis uh, is the development of embryo starting from the zygote so from zygote up to the development of embryo it is called as embryogenesis embryogenesis in dicot and monocot takes place similar manner up to the octant stage but after the octant stage formation then dicot plants that seed producing two cotyledons while monocot produces single cotyledon as uh, the zygote is developed the zygote further go in different mitotic divisions so mitosis occur and so many changes takes place in the uh, zygote so zygote first it divides into two that is lower cell and upper cell lower cell it is normally towards the micropylar end of the ovule and upper portion that is uh, upper cell it is the chalazal end of the cell so the lower portion it is called as the suspensory initial and upper cell is called as the embryonic embryonal initial so as the name indicates the development further takes place and this lower part that is the embryonic oh, sorry uh, the part which is facing towards the micropylar end which is known as the suspensory initial suspensory initial it again divides and it uh, develops into two parts the lower which is a solon part it is towards the micropylar end and then the upper cell it divides uh, horizontally and in a filament like structure so it develop into the suspensor and the hostorium while the upper portion that is produce embryonic cell or embryonic initial that develops further go three uh, mitotic successive divisions and it produces the group of cells and you can see that the spherical shape structure that is developed towards the chalazal end further development takes place where the embryonic initial it undergo three mitotic divisions and it forms the octant stage so four cells towards the lower side and four towards the upper side lower side that produces hypocotyl and the radical so hypocotyl and radical towards the lower tire you can say it is the lower portion it is a lower tire and upper tire that produces radical uh, sorry that is the cotyledon and plumule so in this way hypocotyl radical towards the lower tire and cotyledon down and plumule towards the upper part so further development takes place in the embryonal cell that is the upper cell and it develop into up to the octant and then it develops further development takes place which resemble to that of the heart shape structure further it divides redivides so many divisions takes place of course all are mitotic divisions and it give rise to horse shoe shape structure while at the same time lower portion that is the suspensor which is facing towards the micropylar end it is it helps to embryo to pushing into the endosperm so that the maximum nourishment can be obtained from the endosperm and in this way the development of the our embryo that completes so same type of the processes you can observe in the monocot also so here in a monocot the same type of Uh, division takes place uh, you can see here embryo embryonal initial and suspensory initial and then 
this portion that uh, lower portion that give rise into the suspensor and that pushes the developing embryo into the uh, endosperm and in this way so instead of only after the octant stage instead of producing two cotyledon here it is a monocot so it is called as a single cotyledon so it produces single uh, single cotyledon and if you see the further development that occurs towards the lower surface in the h diagram there is the radical which is covered with the coleoriza and upper portion you can see again in the same diagram h diagram that is the coleoptile is present which cover the plumule so in this way the development of dicot and monocot embryo that completes and it obtains the maximum type of the food or nourishment from the uh, endosperm and based and based on this that whether the endosperm is fully utilized or partially utilized the seed is uh, uh, developed into two categories that is the endospermic and non endospermic seed so this is all about the embryogenesis in dicot and monocot now uh, we can see that here the structure that is of the seed as well as this is the seed and fruit both combine so mostly in monocot like this uh, mostly in the cereals you can see that fruit and seed are one and the same so here the different types of the layers are present and this layers of the seed as well as the fruits are there that is the testa and the tegmen so here we can see that the maize seed where the upper portion that is occupied by with the endosperm so endosperm is present and it nourishes the developing embryo and it tills exist up to the germination that is the seed germination takes place so this much portion that is occupied by the endosperm so it is a endospermic seed while here you can see the lower portion where radical is uh, covered with the coleoriza and the plumule is uh, covered or protected by the coleoptile so in this way this is uh, all about the maize seed as well as the fruit next uh, we can see that as uh, the requirement of the seed whether the endosperm is fully utilized or not so when the endosperm is not uh, fully utilized for the development of embryo but it is partially or part of the endosperm is utilized and hence seal uh, up to the seed formation the endosperm that is uh, still exist and hence that seed is called as the endospermic seed that is the albumina seed where seed consist of much part that is of the endosperm and examples are here given that is the castor as well as uh, uh, coconut and maize so all these are the endospermic seed where uh, endosperm is still exist while in the next that is uh, you can see non endospermic or ex albuminous seed here this endosperm is uh, totally utilized for the development of embryo and hence when the seed is uh, there which is without endosperm so it is called as the non endospermic or ex albuminous seed and examples are p and d now the next terms are there as we know that here the formation of the food uh, fruit where this is a bean seed and you can see that two parts of the seed or the fruit and here this seed is uh, with uh, total structure that is of the embryo where it produces toward the upper region epicotyl it is followed by uh, below to that it is a hypocotyl then radical so radical you know this radical uh, after eventually give rise to the root and the lower portion uh, that is the cotyledons and the surrounding green structure that is the protecting covering is called as the seed coat so in this way this is the uh, seed of dicot where the two cotyledons are present so here uh, as we have discussed about the seed now apomixis that is the formation of uh, formation of here uh, the embryo that is uh, through a sexual method so without that means uh, gametes are not formed and without gamete formation and fertilization when it uh, does not take place then the formation of embryo is there which is uh, just like the asexual method it is called as the apomixis so apomixis is uh, again have uh, categories and uh, those are the recurrent apomixis as well as the non recurrent and the third one that is the adventive 
embryo embryony so these are the apomixis categories while the apogamy is there and apospory is there as the name indicates apogamy here the embryo develops from organs or cells and the uh, apospory where the diploid gametophyte develops by sporophyte without meiosis so the sporophyte uh, it is concerned and uh, that is uh, uh, take part in the formation of the gametophyte so gametophyte develop by sporophyte without any meiosis and hence the genetical structure that remains as it is because it it is without meiosis so apomix is categorized into three those are the recurrent non recurrent and adventive embryony so in a recurrent for example that is the tara taraxacum where the recurrent apomix is where from archesporial cell or the nucellar cell that takes parts in the development of the embryo while in the non recurrent from the megaspore mother cell uh, as you know that megaspore mother cell are always uh deployed that is to having the two sets of chromosome and without uh, with the me meiotic division that is a uh, tex plus which is called as the non recurrent apomixis and the example is the nicotiana so here the same type that is the genetical uh, structure is remain as it is and the third one is the adventive embryony where somatic cell or the somatic nucellus or integuments that tex plus take part in the formation of the embryo and examples that is uh, mango orange and lemon and in lemon we can see that uh, uh, poly embryony stage that means the mini embryo those are developed inside the seed and hence this is the apomixis categories uh, next to that uh, that is the significance of seed and fruit formation which uh, we have seen that the formation of seed and fruit it is only present in the gymnosperm as well as in the uh, angiosperm in gymnosperm only seed is developed fruit is not developed but in angiosperm both that is the uh, ovule is converted into seed and the ovary is totally converted into fruit so these are the post uh, fertilization changes which occur and hence the seed and fruit formation takes place so what is the use of this seed and fruit formation what are the significance so first of all that it uh, fruit when fruit is pr uh, present that provides the nourishment as we know that fruit consist of uh, maximum amount of food material that is the nutrition and it helps nourishes for the developing seed so uh, when seed is developed it is because of the nourishment that is getting from the fruit second thing is that uh, seed is always protected by the fruit when it is in a immature condition when that is uh, seed is present inside the fruit and all uh, over it is protected and hence fruit protect the seed uh, that is in a immature condition then seed after that the formation of the seed which uh, uh, act as a propagating organ that means when we sow the seeds then seeds germinate and it produces plantlet and then afterwards mature plant so in this way the seed that uh, act as a propagating organ next one is the special mechanism for seed dispersal there are uh, various types of the mechanisms for the seed dispersal and spreading of the species over long distance for example as we know that the calotropis in marathi it is called as the rui capus and here this uh, uh, the seed is with uh, that cotton and hence because of the cotton it uh, carry to the long distance with the help of the wind current and hence it uh, achieve the long distance so that it uh, go uh, up to the long distance and after getting the favorable conditions it can be germinate into the new plant so in this way these are the mechanism seed dispersal mechanism in some cases what happen the seed that uh, uh, fruit that splits that the dehyce so this is also the seed dispersal mechanism in some uh, thing what happen the seeds they have some hook like structure which are attached to the animals or different uh, types of the insect it may be and the along with that animals or the insect seed that uh, uh, cover some distance or towards the long distance it goes and then it germinate after getting the suitable environmental condition so in this way the all are the significance of seed and fruit formation uh, next thing is that about the parthenocarpy so parthenocarpy where fruit is developed but it is without fertilization that means there is no any type of the gamete union but even though fruit is developed and hence when such a type of the fruit is developed it is without the seed of course uh, seed we know that is the uh, result of fertilization 
that is the ovule is converted into seed but when the gamete is not there involved and there is no any type of the union of the gametes so zygote is not developed and so fertilization is not there even though fruit is developed so the fruit actually it is a placental tissue produces and it is by some phytohormones that is the auxin indolacetic acid so this auxin that is uh, responsible for the formation of the fruit in certain cases for example uh, we know that pineapple doesn't produce a seed as then banana it also does not produce any type of the seed as well as the papaya also uh, nowadays we can see the papaya they are without seed that is a seedless and hence this term that is the parthenocarpy is is a natural term also in artificial also we can create like this but it is a artificial uh, this is a natural process where the fruit is developed but it is without fertilization then the next one that is the poly embryony as the name indicates it produces a mini embryo in a single seed so the mini embryos can be observed and it is first noticed by the levenock in uh, 1719 and that is he observed in citrus while the polyembryony which is a very useful for it increases chances of the survival of the plant as many embryo are there of course there are many chances of the producing many plants and it has a very great significance in horticulture nowadays we uh, see that the horticulture technique and all different techniques which uh, are required for the demand of the fulfill of the demand of the increasing population and hence this polyembryony also play an important role for this purpose so the mini embryos are developed in a single seed so this is all about the polyembryono so uh, students all this is about our chapter that is the uh, reproduction in lower and higher plants and this uh, thing that is uh, this chapter is somewhat big and so many things are there but all are the basic things we must know and this chapter that helps us for the further chapters to study how they are what is the genetic uh, nature what are the genes and all these things that uh, which uh, this chapter provides us the basic knowledge so that is the fundamental uh, requirements which uh, we require for the further study so this is the very important chapter and it has a, a big type of the weightage that is given for the board exam so this is all about our chapter that is the reproduction in the lower and higher plants so all the uh, all the things we have studied regarding with this plants in the lower as well as the higher plants so uh, i think uh, you must be satisfied with this uh, if you have any difficulties or any problems you can ask me any time and you have my number so all the best and uh, keep your uh, health and be conscious about the your health okay thank you very much